The museum. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me, but at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. Hey. The professor should keep on waiting for me because there is a bonus card here. Thank all. Professor? Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? Uh, invent. I work for a new magazine called History and Culture. It's, uh, it's curious, but Oops. your face seems familiar to me. Have we met somewhere before? I usually joke, but I'm gonna avoid. You told me you didn't have much time for our interview, so maybe it'd be best if we began, don't you think? Curious. He avoided answering my question. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kweknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. Okay, I'll come. I am here. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. What is this other world you talk about? One serpent with two heads, face to face. The same image I cut into my forearms. Could you explain this other world? Oh, the world beyond our own. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. Sacrifices? Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. Okay. I'm here, looking at the painting. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Uh, Oracle kills? The Oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy. Another person in the crowd. Totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. The Executor? What happened to the Executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. How do you call him the Executor? A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. Why not Executor? You aren't a journalist, are you? Nope. Who are you? Alright, I'll admit. My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? 
I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before, three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan Oracle still living today? <laughs> but, but that's completely impossible. Trust me. You have to trust me, Professor. I'm the victim of a Mayan Oracle. By coming here to see you, I thought you could help me understand. I'm very sorry, young man. There's nothing I can do for you. Our interview is over. And if I were you, I'd go out the employee exit. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is now reading. He's sure to recognize you any minute now. Thank you for your help, Professor. Damn it! I... I fucked it up. Well, I didn't fuck it up. Because my other option was... to show him my my proofs and then he would go out with me and then he would die <gasps> fuck I wasn't ready I was talking all right whatever I got more lives bitch so at least we keep the professor alive you know I didn't even know that was an option but now I do Red. Ninjas! Motherfuckers! Ninja style bitches! Ah! It's a car! I should run away! Run away! Ah no! I made it! Kinda! Ready! Go! Set fire to everything! Job! Hell yeah! I did it like a boss! I'm so cool I'm not even looking back, just moving forward. I kinda look to the side but doesn't matter. Whoa! Unknown place! A relay. Wakey wakey, Lucas Kane. Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? The Chroma. You have the Chroma. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Visions. This is some kind of dream, isn't it? You're not really there in front of me, are you? <laughs> Reality is a notion that doesn't have any meaning where I come from. We are not really here, and yet you will die here. Believe me, this world is just as real as your own. Chroma. The Chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We will see each other again. In the other world. Kibintinakwentane. Oh shit. That is the ugliest tiger I've ever seen. Or panther I should say. Or whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. I pressed the button and there was no sounds. Was is das? Game, you trying to cheat? You little shit. Come on, tiger. Oh, panther. You see, the game corrected me. Don't call it a tiger, it's a panther, you bastard. Okay. 
Well, at least I think it's a panther. Panthers are black, right? Black. And that guy is... That guy... <laughs> that creature is black-ish. So I guess it's a panther. Perhaps it's a... Uh, the not... The not-so-wanted child or cousin of the panther family. Being so ugly and whatnot. Ouch. Okay. Agatha. Oh. Agatha? But how? Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. Hmm... Unknown place. Wow, my hair grade. I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not, but it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the Indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Cain is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. Okay. That was interesting. Sleazy Hotel. It was an unknown uh, unknown place just a second ago. Now it's a sleazy hotel. The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've gotta warn him or he's dead. We should wait, Carla. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. Desk guy swore to us that he was in his room, and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 369. Oh, shit, I need to get up. I need to phone, 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 brother. Up, Marcus, pick up. Hello, my son. Telephone. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Yes. Move! No time, Marcus! I mean, not Marcus. Yes, Marcus. I don't know. Yes, Marcus. Of course, Marcus. Ah, uh, phone. Phone is on the other side! Come on, answer Zephon! Hello? St. Paul's Cathedral. 
Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? No time. I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it, now! Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. This... No, it's not a door. I mean, it, maybe it is a door, but don't need to lock it. Alright, I'm locked in. Now, can you explain what's going on? Call the police, and don't come out until they get there. No time to sit around. Lucas? 369. Here it is. That's not 369. Not okay. Oh shit, I think I'm gonna have to censor some shit again. Damn it. I hate doing that. Nobody move! Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Huh? There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. You mean this way? No. This 369? I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. Oh. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Lucas Kane is Spider-Man. <laughs> oh man. Buongiorno. Oh, I think I know what's that gonna be. Lucas, you have to come over right now. They say they'll kill me if you don't come. I'm at the old amusement park. Please, hurry, Lucas. There. You must realize now that I am not joking. So please, don't delay. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Tiffany!